What's up guys, welcome to A Star for Bants and today I am back with another reaction video. So, um, as I have said in previous videos and also this, well, I'm going to say in this video, um, it's World Cup season, Do you know what I mean? It is World Cup season, 2018 Russian World Cup and I'm going to explain why this is this this is probably one of the biggest World Cups in recent year in, in in recent history. Yeah, only because there are so many teams that could potentially win it. Like I know that's that's obvious, but I mean, if you had to say who's your top three candidates to win the World Cup, I guarantee you, if you ask ten people, they'll all give you different answers. That's how competitive this World Cup is going to be. So I'm very excited. I'm very interested to to see and hear about it. But as I know, and as you know, most of you are Brazilians. So today we're going to focus on Brazil and their road to Russia. Now, if you'd like me to do um, a different country as well, let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you'd like me to talk to you about my, who I think will win the World Cup, who I think are the favourites and which players I think will shine in the World Cup, then I'm going to need at least 5,000 likes. Is that fair? If you want me to tell you what I think, put myself out there, then I need 5,000 likes minimum. Yeah, I think that's fair. But anyways, we're going to be reacting to all 41 goals in the South American qualifiers scored by Brazil. That's what we're going to be reacting to. Now, I know that there's been a lot of like, you know, a topic for debate. Yeah, in terms of who should be going to Russia, who should be in that Brazilian squad. So in order to understand who deserves to be in that Brazilian squad, we must surely first look at who got Brazil there in the first place. So let's look at these 41 goals. Let's see who contribute to a goal tally in it. And then, we'll do, and then we can talk about, in the comments down below, we can talk about who deserves to be there, who shouldn't be there, who you worried might be there, who might be the dark horse, horse to make it in late. We'll talk about that one. And also guys, as always, there will be a notification shout out down below. Now, they were at the end of the video based on the, the comments down below in it so make sure you get involved press the notification bell hashtag notification squad in the comments down below and we can get a crack in but yes guys we're gonna finally get onto the video because it's a long video in it i don't know why i've been talking for so long it's crazy i don't even know what i'm doing at this point it's kind of mad it's kind of mad okay cool um 442 football shout out to you this is their video i will put the link for that down below as well but anyways play see paulino this is to be honest, this is what we're here for. We're here to watch Paulinho. I'm not going to lie to you guys. A bit of Paulinho, a bit of the chosen one. We might watch a bit of King Neymar, the magician Coutinho. We'll see in it. The speed star Costa. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. How can I forget? The young, the young prince, Gabriel Jesus. Listen, there's a few people that I'm going to be looking out for. We'll see. Alright, so... Brazil versus Colombia. First goal. So the first goal was scored by William. Based on recent performance as well, yeah, I think I feel like William is definitely someone who should be on the plane to Russia. And just as I say that he goes and scores again. That's crazy. Alu goal. Alu goal. Alu goal. <laughs> who dummy did though? That dummy was nice. Is that Oscar? Shout out to Oscar, man. I hope he makes it. Ricardo Oliveira. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't heard much of about him, you know. No one's been mentioning his name. I don't know, like, is he is he even in a, any chance of getting there? Lucas Lima. Lucas Lima, swear. Against Argentina as well, that's big. That's big. Douglas Costa, okay. Recently back in the picture as well. Perfect. Some would call it perfect timing. Some would. 
Would I? I probably would too. Renato Augusto. I've been hearing that um, people should be considering King Arthur instead of Renato Augusto, but you know what I mean? Let me know what you think about that in the comments. Felipe Luis, another person that might not make it. Brazil are very talented in the left back district. Do you know what I mean? Felipe Luis, Alexandro, Marcelo. I don't know. It's a tough one. Douglas Costa again. Okay. That William on one side, Douglas Costa on the other side thing seems to be working at the moment. Do you know I mean, against Uruguay as well. Oh, that was nice. That was nice. That was nice. Look at this. No, dummy. That was nice. That's nice. That's beautiful. That's nice. That's nice. That's very nice. Ricardo Oliveira. Who's that against Peru? I've seen a lot of draws. Interesting. Danny Alves. That's a nice finish for a right back. Here we go, the king. It's Neymar, and it's in the back of the net. Ecuador nil, Brazil won. A 47th international goal for Neymar, and a 1 0 lead. Did I watch this match? I can't remember. Here's Marcelo. And for Gabriel Jesus, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, debut goal. See, look. Wow. Okay, so is he the one that moved Ricardo Oliveira? I think it was. It must have been. Because he's not around no more. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Yep. 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 Two goals on your debut. Every other striker, bye. <laughs> bye. <laughs> Miranda. Against Colombia again. It's the blonde. I swear it is. It's the blonde. Five nil. Oh, that's harsh. Look at that. That's so unselfish. So unselfish. Look at that. Ten minutes gone, and Brazil hit the front. And a 49th senior into Danny Alves beautifully. Felipe Coutinho. Yellow shirts wait for the cup. Oh, Giuliano's in the mix as well. Okay. So you know I've had quite a lot of Brazilians play for you during the qualifiers. That's crazy. That's tough, because a lot of them aren't even involved no more. That's crazy. Felipe Luiz is at it as well. See, first and foremost, what was he doing that high up the pitch? <laughs> like, how did he get there? Moving like Danny Alves. Call home. Tell them, tell them you're the, you're, the, you're the striker for Brazil, the number one striker for Brazil. Call home and tell them. You might as well at this point. Oh, but look, see Roberto Firmino. This is someone, this is someone I feel should definitely be on the plane as well, 100%. Look at the chip. That's a, I call that the Brazilian chip. Right there, every Brazilian striker. And if you want to be a Brazilian striker, you need to, be, you need to have that chip down to a T. You have to. Willian. That's lovely. That's lovely. Felipe Coutinho against Argentina. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, yeah, I remember that one. I remember that one. Felipe Coutinho. Jeez. That's a, that's a Felipe Coutinho classic. Of course, of course, the king had to get involved. The king had to get involved, of course. Easy finish. 
But then, the chosen one arrived! Paulinho! Cheese! Come on! Was this... This was... Hey, listen, I think this was his first goal of the qualifiers, isn't it? The rest is history. The rest is history. I think that's the match where they said, you know what? He's in. He's in. I don't know if Gabriel Jesus was at Man City at this point yet. But do you know what I mean? Like you could, I think this was the time when he was he was he was shifting Aguero, I think. Guys, do you really want Renato? Renato Augusto to not go to the World Cup? Are you sure? Because do you know what I mean? Four one against Uruguay, okay. Of course. Who else? Who else? Who else? Who else? The hero we have all been waiting for is Paulinho. Again, Brazil keeping the pressure on for Mino. Hashtag another one. Hashtag another one. Listen, yeah. No one. I think everyone was down on Paulinho up until this point. I feel like in it. Of course, Neymar has to get involved with a beautiful, a beautiful scoop. I told you, if you want to be a Brazilian striker, you've got to have that. You've got to have that lob. You've got to have that in your locker. It has to be perfect, just like that, beautiful. But this was the Paulinho show, innit? This was the Paulinho show. He came, he saw, he conquered, he got a hat trick. He got a hat trick, just like that. Deep, deep the finish, though. Deep the finish. Off the chest. The magician. It's a bit. Now that I'm watching this, it's a bit scary because Brazil got so many options. That finish was crazy. I don't even understand how we got the shot off. That's crazy. I think it deflected. Marcelo as well getting in on the act. See, this is when I think this one was warming up for the for like around the Champions League time, was it? I can't remember. When 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 Madrid was dominating Europe, it's crazy. But guys, then it's that name again. Guys, let me tell you something. All right, Paulinho will be a hero in Russia. You heard it here first. Oh, I remember when oh, I remember this when Garo Jesus got 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 hit. Got, oh well, sound is gone. Oh, here we go. Whoa! Guys, that's how you finish it. <laughs> right place, right time. Right place, right time. Only one person, the chosen one. That's Paulinho. Paulinho. Guys, how many goals has Paulinho scored for you in this? It's kind of it's moving. Do you know what I mean? Very unselfish. Very unselfish. This partnership between Neymar and Gabriel Jesus is beautiful. I think maybe it started at the Olympics, I'm not sure. But it's nice, it's nice to see. I don't know where that goalkeeper was getting. Sanchez needs to talk to him and tell him, listen. Do you know what I mean? I don't know what you're trying to go for. Oh, is it finished? Oh, wow, that was quick. Wow, just... Guys, I was enjoying myself. I didn't even know. That was 41 goals. Wow. So look, here's my thing, right? Brazil have so many options. Do you know what I mean? Like, okay. Attacking, atta like, like, wow. Every single position is just saturated. Your goalkeepers. I know, I know um, that Alisson, guys, your number one goalkeeper. But Edison has been doing very, very well in the Premiership. In the Premier League, and then you got goalkeepers in Brazil. That what's the name? Guremo, Guremo, for uh, Gremio. 
That goalkeeper, that goalkeeper's a problem, yeah? I'm telling you guys, that goalkeeper's a problem. So you got, you got a lot of, the goalkeeper district, you, you've got that covered, no problem. Centre backs. You, we saw Miranda, yeah? We seen Thiago Silva. People like David Luiz aren't even being considered. That's how peak it is at centre back. Marquinhos, my gosh, wow. Wow, yeah. Full backs. That's not even that left back position alone is gonna be a problem. Uh, uh, listen, a world class left back is not gonna make it. You got Marcelo, Felipe Luis, and Alexandro. I might be missing someone. Someone's not gonna make it. Right back. You got Dani Alves. I don't know who who is the second right back for, for you guys. Uh, maybe you'll play um Fabinho there. I don't know. But that's another position, you know what I mean? Like, you've got options. You've got options. In midfield, Casemiro, Fernandinho, King Arthur. Like, <sighs> Paulinho, Renato Augusto. It's just long. I might even be forgetting people because it's that peak, yeah? You've got Coutinho now, Douglas Costa. Neymar, William, Luke. I saw Lucas Lima score a goal at the beginning of this year, and no one's even mentioned him. Record that that um, what's his name, Oliveira guy, yeah. Roberto Firmino, Gabriel Jesus. So many options. What is going on? Listen, like it's a good problem to have, but at the same time, it's a bad problem if you're the man and you have to pick in it, because someone's not going to be happy. And I, I guarantee there's going to be a group of fans that aren't happy either, in it. But we'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens. It should be an interesting World Cup for Brazil. But I'm telling you right now, you heard it here first. Paulinho will be the hero we have all been waiting for. And I'm going to leave it at that point, uh, at that note, yeah? But before I do, I need to give a shout out, a notification shout out. So, real quick, shout out to Davi D. Orejo, Orejo, Davi, D, or De, Davi, De, Ara, Arajo, yeah, shout out to you, hashtag notification squad, that's what he said in the comments, so he got the shout out, so I appreciate you, shout out to you, um, I'm gonna leave it there guys, so, thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you're already smashing up that like button, especially if you want to hear my views and opinions for the World Cup's my predictions, yeah, in the next video, if you want to hear that, make sure you're smashing up that like button, as always, dive into the comments and let me know what else you'd like to see, share the video, because sharing is caring, and subscribe, come and join the squad, Wolves, road to 150k, road to 150k subscribers, yeah, soon come, yeah, Whilst you're at it, make sure you follow me on all my social media and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until next time. Peace. Feel just like a rock star.